Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In this tutorial, I'm going to build off of the last one, and the last one was creating functions to do a particular task, and that is going to make life a lot easier as a programmer, so we don't have to write everything in this main function right here. So right here we wrote a function, and the return type is int, and we called the name of it 5 squared, and I specified that we had empty parameters right here and we have the return we are returning an int and we're returning 5 times 5 which is 5 squared so if I printed that out we'd get 25 and you know that from the last video but that's pretty limiting because we can only if we wanted to get 6 squared we'd have to write another function so how can we make it to where we can make a function but we can tell it what number we want to square for us well that is very simple and that's called passing arguments or passing in a parameter um, a couple different terms you can use but pretty much everything inside of these parentheses are the parameters or the arguments that this function takes in so we can say that it takes in an int and we can just call it x it doesn't really matter what you call it as long as you know what you're using it for so now instead of 5 times 5 we can take this x that we passed into it and we can put that in place of it so it would just be x times x okay and let me print that out for you and if you are paying close attention this isn't gonna run and I will let you think about why it's not gonna run but let's say square and I want to do 4 so that 4 is getting assigned to x and then the return statement is saying x times x and returning that and that's what should be returned right here so this is equivalent to 16 and that would be printed to the console so when we hit run we get this error right here and that's because up here we didn't declare it properly we still have that 5 squared so we still need to pass it or, or declare it correctly so it's square and it takes in an int and we called it x so make sure that these match up to those and a simple other solution would be just to put all of your functions on top of the main function so that way they are read first and then a run down here and now what I also want to do is instead of just saying hello I want to say hello but I want to pass it a name so it says hello uh, to whoever's name I pass in. So the way we can do that is it takes in a string. We can just call it name. It's easy. Let's do the same up here. String name. And we can say, concatenate that with name right there. So, oh, well, we didn't run this. So let's run that and see if we get 16. There we go. We got 16 right there. And now if I wanted to, let's get rid of this. I wanted to do print hello, print hello. And I ran this, we got an error. And that's because it's expecting us to pass in a, uh, a name right there. So we can have functions with the same name right here and the same return type, but we can have multiple different combinations of parameters. So this right here is we are calling a, the print hello function but this one this particular one that has no parameters is not defined anywhere in my program so it's not going to work so the only one we have is this one so we have to pass it a name but in order to print this out I just noticed that we have a void right here so we're not returning any types so we don't even need to see out because the function itself actually calls C out for us. So we can just say print hello and then we can put the name right there. So I'll put my name and we will run it and it says hello Mike. So that is how these functions, we can give it a little more functionality actually with passing it parameters. And think of it just like a math class, you know, uh, f of x equals whatever, you know, x squared plus x plus 3 or something like that. So f of x is working off that X and whatever you put in there spits out some type of output and that would be uh, for instance this would be like F 
and this is of x, and then when we, whatever x we pass in there, it spits out the the answer. So it's very similar to the way a math problem is set up. So thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe below. I will keep making these C++ tutorials, and visit my website www.mcprogramming.org if you want access to any more videos that aren't on YouTube. You can buy or get into one of my free courses, so check that out guys, and have a good day.